imagine for a second that you have the exclusive right to buy this house. The only other person in competition for this house is the bank who thinks they can foreclose. And then you have an attorney who can stop them from foreclosing. How powerful of a negotiation standpoint are you in? I dictate the price. I tell you the terms. Get busy for closing. Oh, you can't? Okay. What am I calling you for then? What are you calling me for? Hey, look, this is my best price. It's all I got. It's all I can do for this particular house. Oh, you don't like that price? Then by the bank would say, oh, well, I'll just call the owner and tell them to find another buyer. And I can't because I have an exclusive option that's recorded. <laughs> Oh, well, we don't like your price, so we're going to foreclose. Okay. Remember last time? Didn't work out so well, did it? Let's go. Let's do this. You're drawing a line in the sand, and you're really going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bank. Let's do this right now. You got your legal stuff. They got their legal stuff. And as long as you are relatively reasonable on price, like not saying, I want the house for free or fuck you, they're probably not going to engage their law department to come fight you which is nothing you're going to want. Anyway, they're probably just going to um, concede eventually. Oh, my favorite part was, oh, by the way, the owners moved out, gave me an exclusive option, and I'm renting the house out for $2,000 a month. So take as long as you'd like. Not a problem. I don't mind. How much? What, what, what? Yes, $2,000 a month, and no, we're not making a mortgage payment. I've made you a reasonable offer. All you need to do is accept it. And there's really nothing else to talk about. Right? 